Hello everybody and welcome back once again to Let's Play Skyrim. Last time we left off we made our way to Iverstead. We finally reached here after being distracted a few times from waterfall, uh, you know, by waterfalls, by uh, forts containing uh, mages. And we got here, had popped into the inn, had a bit of a chat with the locals and then went out to have a look at the barrow just to see this haunted barrow that they've been harping on about and upon doing so we're attacked by a dragon. We fought it. We almost lost Lydia. She was down to her last sort of legs, really. She was struggling to stand up. Managed to heal her. And together we defeated the dragon. So from one challenge to another, because today we've got up early. It's now 7am and we are making a pilgrimage. Smell the air. Isn't it wonderful? We are making the pilgrimage. To High Rothgar. We're going up the so called 7,050 hundred steps. To the uh, monastery atop the mountain. So, this is going to be an episode of me walking up steps. <laughs> so, we'll see how it goes. But I guarantee we'll have some beautiful views to talk about. Which is part of the game, isn't it? It's part of the experience, I mean, as I say. And this is not just uh, me playing through a game for the sake of playing through a game. It's me playing through a game to, to experience things like this. Waterfalls and mountains and animals running about and attacking you every so often. And other such th things like that. Enjoying the whole, whole thing. Do we go through here, like through the mountain? I thought we were going to go around the outside of it, but it appears here that we're going. Oh no, it's, a, it's an etched, etched tablet. Before the birth of men, the dragons ruled all Mundus. Their word was the voice, and they spoke only for true needs, for the voice could blot out the sky and flood the land. I bet you there's a tablet sort of every so often up this trek. Is this their way of breaking it down for you to take your mind off the of the pain in your knees? <laughs> no doubt you're about to suffer. Got some bears here. Oh, these things hit hard. I forgot this about. Yep, I'm dead. <laughs> Okay, it's coming. It's coming pretty rapidly. Oh, that didn't really, that didn't really do much. Um, shoot. Yeah, don't pick on bears. That's the moral of that story. And this is the first time I've died. It had to happen sometime. I was deluding myself if I thought I could take Elwyn through his travels without dying once. Okay. Those bears are making Miss Timber angry and I can see why. They hit harder than the dragon does. <laughs> I killed a dragon and die in the hands of a bear. I mean, come on. Seriously? Yep, yeah, we'll leave him sleeping. You see, no need to disturb him any further. Okay, I think this is a story. Count them out, like individually, and see if the game actually does have 7,000 steps. There's one, there's two. Okay, that's. <laughs> not really gonna happen, is it? And, uh, duh, duh, up the steps we go. We're gonna run up them all. Taking a rest every so often. Oh! Leave the creature alone! Ooh! I spiked through the head! That's gonna hurt in the morning, and in the afternoon, and probably in the evening as well. Blue mountain flowers.
Hope you've got your walking shoes on, Lydia. This is going to be quite the hike. Probably not even made it up 50 steps just yet. <laughs> We will make it before uh, tea time, I guarantee you. Before lunch time, hopefully. Oh, look at these, like mount mountain elks or something. What the hell? What are these things? Oh, we're going up. We're not even halfway up, and we're already looking uh, out upon the world. Is this, a, is this another pilgrim? Hold there! Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Hrothgar. <laughs> what are you doing? I like to spend time up here. Walk the steps. Meditate on the emblems. Doesn't hurt when I bag some game along the way. So do you visit the Greybeards, or are you just here for the sights and the meditation? They're not the sort to take visitors. But I never go that high up the path anyway. Some folk who make the trip leave them food or other essentials. But not to make conversation. Alright, well nice to meeting you. Until next time. If there is a next time. Tablet number two! Men were born and spread over the face of Mundus. The dragons presided over the crawling masses. Men were weak then and had no voice. He's off back down. Call of the Wolves. Starting to snow here. I think we're getting to the higher reaches. It's getting to the realms of. Oh! Wolves! An ice wolf! Okay, that looks pretty tough. <laughs> Let's sort ourselves out. Uh, fire, I think, would be best. as we go. Dog standard wolf this time. Nothing too, uh, nothing too hairy. Nothing too dangerous. Look at that over there. That's quite a high mountain. I wonder what the highest mountain in the game is. I'm sure somebody would be able to say. But that's pretty big. I mean, this one isn't exactly small, but. Uh, Definitely thicker with snow. A bit more blustery. And all I've got on is a few flimsy robes of illusion. I believe. Yeah, novice robes of illusion.
The fledgling spirits of men were strong in old times, unafraid to war with dragons and their voices, but the dragons only shouted them down and broke their hearts. Oh, what's going on? Ice wolf! Oh, silver amethyst ring. I think we'll take that from you. Your grubby little paws. And move on. Have I missed something? Am I going the right way here? Oops, the daisy. <laughs> Colliding there. Oops. I wouldn't mind if these steps were going, you know, up. But we seem to be going up, down, a few more steps up, and then up, down a few more. We seem to be blimmin' up and down more times than a yo-yo. Snowberry. Probably, I've probably been missing tons of snowberry. I don't know what we're looking out for in terms of those sort of herbs. There's another, there's another bunch up here. I'm so used to look. Oh no! Have we picked those? I'm so used to looking out for um, blue mountain flowers and thistles and the more common herbs. I don't really pay attention to other such colours. Oh! Thought we got another person that likes to med meditate at the tablets. Would it be rude of me to talk to her? Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Rothgar. I... Walking the steps, meditating on the emblems. I make this trip every few years. Just a pilgrim. I'd prefer to leave it at that, if you don't mind. No, nope, don't mind at all. I Don't mind if I read uh, the, the emblem, do you? Kine called on Parthen Parthenax, who pitied man. Together they taught men to use the voice. Then dragon war raged. Dragon against tongue. Time for rest. Wonder if we're halfway there yet. What the hell is that? What the? Is that a troll? <laughs> it's off like the clappers. Chasing after the poor. Elk or whatever that was. Keep your wits about you. No doubt that thing will be back. Men, man prevailed, shouting Alduin out of the world, proving for all that their voice too was strong, although their sacrifices were manifold. Come on. Once again, oh, for, ah. this is one thing I find extremely irritating. Alteration increased. Oh, it's heard me. 
always seems to be the case. Whenever I cast stone flesh, it sets off their bloody anger management issues. 